Hello, this is Deborah with Black Education TV. Real quickly, I wanted to talk about the gift or the office. I'm going to say office because some people refer to it as the office of prophecy. But I believe that prophecy is a gift. The gift of prophecy is something that the Most High grants. I want to talk about the gift of prophecy because there are many people today calling themselves prophet or prophetess. And I just want to caution you to be very careful with that. Because there are a number of things that are said to take place in the last days. Now, although the scripture says in the last days, I'm going to pour out my Ruach HaKadosh on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Okay, it did say that. That in the last days, this is going to take place. But the scripture also says... In the last days, many false prophets shall arise. That alone should cause us to be very, very cautious about how we title ourselves. If you know scripture, the prophets of old never referred to themselves as prophets. They were known to be prophets by those who followed after the Most High Yah. They knew that this was the prophet Samuel or the prophet Nathan or the prophet Ezekiel. They knew that these were men of the Most High Yah because of the gifts that displayed through their lives. But Nathan didn't say, I am the prophet Nathan. You see... None of the prophets refer to themselves as prophets. The prophetess Deborah, she didn't go around and say, I am the prophetess. She didn't do that. Anna, she didn't do that. Ezekiel didn't do that. But there is a, a, a case in scripture where Jezebel referred to herself. Notice the scripture says, who calleth herself a prophetess. Jezebel referred to herself as a prophetess. What I want to say and caution you is, if you have the gift of prophecy, this is nothing for you to wear as some type of badge or some type of office or title. It was never meant for us to go around and entitle ourselves with the gifts of Yah. If you are blessed with the gift of prophecy, there is no need to title yourself as such. There are people who go around getting business cards printed, stationery, websites, and they are referring to themselves as prophet or prophetess. And they wear these things as some type of earthly title in which to elevate themselves in the eyes of people. But I would caution you to be very careful with that. Operate. If you have the gift, operate in the gift that has been bestowed upon you. But don't use the gift to elevate yourself. Most of Yah's prophets were very, very low-key. They weren't out there on the forefront trying to tell the world who they were. The people knew who they were. But it wasn't because they were out here saying, look, I'm this, I'm that. When it comes to the gifts of the Mosiah, don't allow yourself to be filled with pride. The gifts of Yah are not for your glorification. But so that the purpose of the Mosiah might be revealed. That is what they are for. If the Most High has a divine purpose or use for you or for your life, seek Him for that. Seek Him for understanding on, on how to operate in the gift that He has bestowed upon you. But by all means, do not elevate yourself. Do not think more highly of yourself than you ought to. Be thankful for the gifts of the Most High Yah that have been bestowed upon you, but never allow yourself 
to walk in any level of pride. We must always walk in humility, especially as it relates to the gifts of Yah. I thank and praise the Most High Yah because there is an understanding that is had or that is shown in Scripture. And if we just follow simple rules and instructions, we won't fall into these traps and snares that we see so prevalent. It used to be a time that I saw these things happening a lot in the Christian churches. But it's not just in Christianity that we are seeing these things. We are also seeing these things and those who call themselves Hebrew Israelites. So I would, well, I would want to caution you to be very careful. I don't want to spend a lot of time on this. I just wanted to take, it, take this time, take this moment to say to you, to seek Yah for your gifts and never seek to elevate yourself. Because when you seek to elevate yourself, He will abase you. But when you walk in hum humility, He will uplift you. And with that, I will say Shalom.